This morning, a Storyline user asked a great question in the eLearning Heroes community, and it was about screen recordings. He had a course where he had created a screen recording and he had inserted it as a series of tri-mode steps. And what that means is the screen recording behaves like a simulation where the course kind of guides the learner through the steps that you want them to learn. What we see right here is an example of that. This course has a screen recording that's been inserted in tri-mode. And if I move my mouse around, when I get close to the item, that I need to click on, see how I'm getting that little caption that says that's the right thing to click. And then when I click, I move on to the next step. And again, if I get close to the place I'm supposed to click, I get the caption that's kind of giving me the hint about, you know, that that's the right thing. Then each additional action, we get more hints that appear to help guide us along. Well, these hints and that behavior is something that Storyline creates for us. For example, if we close the preview and we look at our slide, Storyline created this hotspot for me. It also created this hint caption layer down here in the lower right. And I can modify this and make the text say whatever I want. But the point is Storyline does create the layer for me. It also creates the triggers associated with my hotspots. I've got a couple triggers here that kind of dictate the behavior of how that hotspot responds to the learner. Well, the person I was talking with was wondering, what if I don't want hint captions? Do I have to go through every single slide to delete them? And fortunately, no, you don't have to do that. That would be kind of a lot of work because it would mean touching every single slide in your screen recording and um, you know, messing with the behavior of the hotspots and altering triggers and stuff like that. Instead, what you can do is this. When you insert your video, let's just come up here to the Insert tab and use the drop down on Record Screen. Here's the video that I created earlier. And when you um, are ready to insert it, what you can do is um, where you select step-by-step -step slides and then you make your selection here for the type of step-by-step -step slides you wanna insert, like you know we're using tri-mode steps, you'll also see this link right below the dropdown that says options. In this case, it says tri-mode options. And this link, if you click on that, is where you can set your preferences, not only for captions, but for lots of other things too. For example, if you do use the captions, you can change the language that you want to use for them. You can also opt to show uh, feedback when the learner performs a correct action if you want, rather than just taking them to the next step in the sequence. You can give them some feedback if you mark this box. Um, if your slides do include hotspots, you can opt to um, turn off the hand cursor. So the cursor's um, not going to change when the learner hovers over that hotspot. Maybe you don't want them to have that extra information about that item being clickable. You can turn that off. And then here is the option that pertains to hint captions. You can opt to show the captions only when the learner hovers over the right spot or you can make them appear right from the get-go on every slide so that they're always visible. Or like the guy I was talking with, um, you know, he could just unmark this completely so that the captions never appear at all. So let's just go ahead with this, um, these options that we've marked, and we'll go ahead and insert this video into um, a new scene just so that we can see how this new scene behaves compared to the other one that we looked at a minute ago. Okay, so here's our video in a new scene, and you'll notice that this time we do still have the hotspot, that little green rectangle is appearing, but we don't have the hint caption layer down here in the lower right. And our triggers are going to be different. We don't have the triggers that tell the learner or tell the course, you know, to display the hint caption under certain circumstances. And in fact, let's just go ahead and preview this and see how this behaves differently than the other example that we looked at earlier. Okay, so here's our course. And now if we move around with our mouse, we hover over the plus sign, but we're not getting the hand cursor, you know, the pointing hand, because we turned that feature off. And we're also not getting the hint caption appearing anymore at all. However, if we click on the plus sign, we do get, you know, pr we do proceed right on to the next step in the process. So this is a little bit different than the other one because we altered our options. So if you're working with step-by-step -step screen recordings, that options link is definitely something you'll want to explore. Again, to get to it, you just go to insert and then drop down record screen, select your video, and then underneath this drop down, you're gonna see a link. So depending on what item you choose, view, try, or test, it's gonna be an options link. And all three of these options, or all three of these choices do have options that are unique. So view mode options is gonna look different then try mode options, definitely something that you'll want to explore as you're inserting your videos. So I hope that helps you to customize your screen recording so that you can more easily give your learners exactly the experience that you want.